All right, the future of Butler basketball is someone very familiar with the Bulldogs past. Thad Mata is coming back as head coach. Yeah, very familiar face. He spent seven seasons with Butler as an assistant and as a head coach. Our Rich Night tonight has more on the high profile hire just days after parting ways with Laval Jordan. Thad Mata looks comfortable back inside Hinkle Fieldhouse, even ready to spot up for a three pointer. He hit a few shots from there, playing for now athletic director Barry Collier who Mata replaced as head coach in 2000. Mata coached the Bulldogs for just one season with a then school record 24 wins, a conference regular season and tourney championship, and Butler's first win in the NCAA tourney in almost 40 years. Thomas Jackson led that team in scoring and assist. One of the biggest things that I took, I took from you know, playing for that was just how passionate and energetic he was. He did a, a great job of of uh, empowering us to, to play with that same energy. Jackson is now an assistant coach under Todd Licklider at Evansville. That Butler team included future Butler coaches Licklider, Brad Stevens, Brandon Miller, and Laval Jordan. Three-point marksman Darnell Archie is now the coach at the University of Mobile. I'm excited for him. I'm excited just to know the head coach. You know, that was my biggest fear is they're going to hire somebody I didn't know. Um, so it's nice to have that continued um, continuity of Butler guys being at the helm. Thad Mata returns to the sideline at Hinkle Fieldhouse more than 20 years after he left. He went on to become a big-time college basketball coach, and Butler went on to become a big-time college basketball program. We forget how good he was at Ohio State, uh, how good he was at Xavier, and he recruited me at Butler, recruited Val, recruited all those guys that really got that thing going in the late 90s and early 2000s, so home run hire. Mata is back at his alma mater and where his head coaching career began. And Mata will be reintroduced at a news conference at Hinkle Fieldhouse on Wednesday.